Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Okay, uh, in this today's session, we are going to demonstrate about the uh, recovery or restore scenario in case of SP file or P file lost. So if you lose your SP file and P file, how you can restore it? So if you see this particular course which I have started, this is going to be uh, one of the continuation series. Um, the course is about our main backup and restore scenarios and already we have uh, covered couple of restore and recovery scenarios like all the data file lost how you can restore control file lost how you can restore using auto backup few blocks are corrupted how you can restore those corrupted blocks and only one data file lost how you can restore it and all the data files in a particular table space lost and then how you can restore that particular table space so all these scenarios we already covered it and in this today's scenario we will see about the sp file and p file restore and recovery so if you are new to my channel, always go back to YouTube and search for Malik 34 and then please do subscribe. If you like my videos, please don't forget to like and share comment. And if you missed out my previous videos, you can always refer it in my YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started with the today's session that is SP file or a P file lost or corrupted how you can restore it. So this particular today's session, I'm going to demonstrate in, in two methods. One is uh, when you are using your recovery catalog and one you, when you are not using your recovery catalog. In both the scenarios, how you can restore your SP file or a P file. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have my uh, database here. I have my uh, dev database which is running here and I also have my recovery catalog that is a cat DB. Uh, it's a recovery catalog for my uh, dev database. So what I'll do, uh, I'll quickly connect to my database and I'll check uh, show parameter name. So this is dev db I connected and show parameter sp file or p file you can do. It is running with the sp file. So I'll quickly go into my dbs location, db home on dbs. Okay, so let me check for dev okay i have my sp file here and i have my uh, p file here so i'll move my p file as a backup and also i'll move my sp file as a backup so if i can check i have sp file backup i have p file backup so right now i don't have p file and i don't have any init file in my dbs location so what i'll do i'll try to shut down my database shut immediate or shut about or you can kill your database and once you try to start your database it will not start you that p file or sp file is the initial phase of my database to start right so if that itself does not is available so then you will not be able to take your database to the no mount mode also right so i'll do start up so you can see here failure in processing the system parameter could not open the parameter file it is not able to find sp file it is not able to find the init file so i'll at least try to start start up no mount see no mount also it's not possible because uh, the p file or sp file is the initial uh, initial phase my database to start at least go to no mount more right so if p file or sp file does not available it is not available then you will not be able to do anything so in that case so what i'll do i'll connect to my uh, recovery catalog the command is uh, let me check okay here it is Armen target slash it will connect to my uh, target database with the catalog that is rcat is the owner and this is a password and this is rcat db is my uh, uh, tns name right so it will connect to my recovery catalog you can see here connected to target database not started my target database is down because i don't have my p file or sp file and uh, it connected to recovery catalog so once you connect to your recovery catalog you need to do startup no mount so if you do startup no mount it will not be able to uh, start using your p file or sp file because in the default location under dbs location it will not be having any p file or sp file so it will try to uh, start using your recovery catalog you can see here Vara errors you got this this particular Vara error processing system parameter it is unable to open this particular file and static oracle instance without the parameter file for the retrieval of your sp file and oracle instance started without your uh, sp file the oracle instance is started so then uh, what you can do you can do restore your sp file oh. 
okay automatic channel allocation failed oracle error from the recovery catalog target database not found okay so target database not found in that case you need to set your dbid set uh, dbid so you have to get your basically you have to get your dbid so uh, you, you have to set your dbid you have to note down your dbid what was your dbid before you your database go down you can get it from uh, your recovery catalog or you can get it from your alert log or you know you have to you, you should know about your dbid first of all so you have to set your dbid and then you have to start your uh, uh, restore sp file you can see right the restore sp file so my sp file got restored so then next command is so i will just put this command here so i forgot to mention that okay you have to set your dbid here before you restore your uh, sp file you have to set your dbid and then restore sp file and start a force so before start of force if you can uh, quickly uh, go to your uh, dbs location and verify that sp file dbs ll star dot dev you can see this particular sp file got restored here right so now we will do the final startup force so that will start with my sp file right oracle instance started this time you won't find that that particular error message uh, you know you used to get this particular error message right so you you don't see that particular error message now so it is just a clean startup right your database is, is started cleanly so you can uh, exit you can connect back to your sql plus okay you can say select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database Right, your database is read write mode show parameter sp file you can see your sp file got restored so that already be verified again one more time you can verify it going to that particular location or you can do ls iphone ltr see this particular sp file got restored so you can you can shut down and you can start up and then it will it will do a clean shutdown and then once you start it, it will start with this particular sp file so already we did it in Armin prompt but uh, still you know i will make sure one more time start up you can see so my sp file got restored so i'll move to next uh, particular case next scenario that when you are not using recovery catalog so it is again going to be same uh, you should know your backup location i already know my my backup location i just took this backup location what i'll do i will just uh, connect to Armin. so i'll just uh, log in now start dev again i will uh, move it i'll remove it see i don't have any uh, init file or any sp file so now i'll connect back to database i'll set immediate okay database is going down now i'll try to start it again i will uh, you know unable to start my database at least i will not be able to take it to the no mount startup see unable to identify my sp file or p file startup no mount startup no amount also not possible right so in that case so i don't have any recovery catalog database so how i can restore it so the commands are same pretty straightforward so just connect back to your Armin without catalog right like i'm just connecting Armin target slash so it will just connect uh, and then it will uh, read my it, it has to read my uh, recovery uh, the uh, the control file instead of recovery catalog so it started now so what I'll do next, uh, I will do set my DBID. As I know, I noted down my DBID. I have to set my DBID. So it has set DBID. And then um, I will do startup force no mount. Right, so you can see startup failed because unable to find this particular SP file or P file. 
and then starting Oracle instance without the parameter file for the retrieval of SP file. Right, it has started now without my SP file and then I know my backup location. This is my uh, auto, auto backup that SP file or P file. So I'll just restore it or uh, restore my SP file using this particular auto backup. You can see right. Okay, the quote is, quote is a problem here. So I'll just go, I'll just take it off. I'll put single quote here, single quote here. Okay, then I will use it. So instead, if you don't know your uh, particular auto backup location, you just mention auto backup. You can just restore SP file from auto backup also you can mention. If you know the backup location, you can give the backup location. You can see using using target database control file instead of recovery catalog. As I say, like you can use restore SP file from you just mentioned auto backup if you don't know the, the exact backup location. Since I know the backup location of my uh, SP file or control file, this is the backup backup piece. I just mentioned that one and then you know the SP file restore from auto backup completed. You can see SP file restore from auto backup. This is the auto backup piece. Backup piece I know I, that's why I mentioned uh, the backup piece. So and then do a startup force. And then it will uh, it will shut down and it will start with the uh, it will start with the, the the p file got, which got created. I'll just verify it one more time here. You can see your sp file got created here. It is under DBS location, right? So do startup force. It, it cleanly started here. So I'll just verify and I'll connect back to my database. Select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database. You can see my database started show parameter sp file you can see again sp file also restored back so uh, one, one more time i will do clean shutdown and startup set immediate right database closed database dismounted database shutdown and i'll do startup Right, using this particular SP file, it is now starting. Yeah, it started. Database mounted and database open. Right, so this is this is uh, this this particular restore scenario. Uh, when, without using your recovery catalog, uh, using auto backup, you can restore your SP file. Or when you are using your recovery catalog, you can restore your SP file. So this this SP file or P file restoration is very uh, you know uh, quite simple and uh, it will help you guys uh, for more understanding okay uh, i will come up with the next scenario control file corruption scenario so uh, i have listed out uh, you know uh, four to five control file scenarios scenarios specifically for this control file uh, loss scenario and when when you are having multiplex control file if you lose one control file how you can restore if you lose both the control file how you can restore so many scenarios i listed out like five to six scenarios so we will see it in uh, uh, tomorrow session uh, thank you guys